Hey guys, it's Don, your RC Harry Manchild, bringing you another video on the KK2. Um, this is going to be a pretty brief video, but it's setting up a feature that a lot of people are going to want to use, which is the voltage alarm. Now, you actually have to solder to the board to make sure the board knows exactly what voltage uh, your main battery has. So I will go through how to solder it and how to program it. So this is just a basic video on how to set up the voltage alarm. Thanks for watching, thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to solder up the uh, KK2 board for a voltage alarm system. Not a lot of people actually know it has this. Um, it's got the voltage alarm system in the settings, but this is how you actually connect the battery to it. Um, first thing is you need to locate your contact points. They're really not um, all that obvious, but you've got your positive connection here, which is actually one of the only holes in the board. So that's your, uh, your positive connection. And then you've got a ground point here, which is not a hole, it's just a contact point. A couple things you need to know when you are soldering PCB. You do not want to have too much um, heat in your soldering iron. Be very careful not to blow out the board, because it's actually just a small uh, connective film that you can overheat and it will peel off the back of the board. So um, if you don't have a high-end soldering iron, I recommend you at least you know think about picking one up for the future. But um, you know, you don't want any really, really hot soldering iron to touch this because it, it will destroy your board. So I really recommend having the proper equipment to do this. Now before you get started, if you have one, you don't have to, but I recommend it. Use a flux pen or just some flux if you have it and hit those points just to promote flow for the solder. I've got my JST uh, connection here and I already pre-cut these so that the wires line up and it comes out nice and clean. What we'll do now, take your positive and stick it in there, in your positive hole. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is actually crease it over so it's bent 90 degrees like that. So it's actually in the hole and then bent over. Take my fine point soldering iron, which is set up just to the point that my solder will flow. Make sure the tip's nice and clean so you don't have any old solder on there. And what you want to do is you want to just touch that tip and then blow the solder. Just like that. Should take very little. You want to make sure that you've got a nice strong connection. It's not going to go anywhere. Okay. Now, same basic thing for the ground. I think mine actually touched the touch the wire with a little bit more flux. What we can do here is tin the connection and tin the wire. There we go. Bring it in and touch them together. Okay, so it's not the cleanest job in the world, but it will do. They're on there for sure. Make sure you don't bridge the gap there. Um, even though this, this line is a ground, it's best to make sure you isolate your grounds. So um, make sure those are isolated. And that's all it takes to uh, to solder it up. Now I'll show you the features of, uh, of the voltage alarm. Okay, so let me show you how the voltage alarm works inside. Um, what I've got here is obviously you need your buzzer connected. I've got just a small receiver pack powering the board on the first motor step there. Here's the pigtail I got coming out of it. And um, here's a three cell, three cell nanotech. And uh, just to show you, looks like I've got about 12.4, 12.4 volts in the whole pack. So what I'll do is plug it in here. All right? Okay, so nothing's fried, not yet at least. <clears throat> we'll go in, miscellaneous settings, voltage alarm. 
Now, it's, um, each one of these is a tenth, so 10 is going to be 1 volt. Now, I know that's 12.4, so I should be able to go to, say, 12.6. Here's 12.6. Okay, now when I back out of this, it's automatically going to know that this is slightly lower than what my voltage alarm is set to. Look at that. Okay. Now that is freaking loud. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's echoing in, in my house. But um, did you notice that it was a fairly slow rhythm? Now check this out. This is really cool the way Rolf designed this. If I go up in my voltage threshold, so I set it to 14 volts, so now it thinks that it's roughly one and a half volts under what it's supposed to be, you'll notice that the pitch and the timing changes. Okay. I think that's about as high as it gets. And then when I go under, Bring it down to, say, 11 volts. Does nothing. So, that's how you work the, um, the voltage monitor on there. It's, it's really, really cool that they built this into the board, actually, and it works extremely well. Um, the accuracy is very good, too. I mean, 0.2 volts, and this cell meter 8 is a very high-end piece of equipment, so it reads incredibly accurately. So um, it, it's surprisingly good. You know, most of the time when you're working with voltage alarms, the inconsistencies can be pretty vast, but this is very accurate. So just make sure you have your buzzer on, otherwise you're not getting anything. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. You know, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, thumbs up and feel free to ask me a question in the comments if you'd like. Thanks, guys.